Hey everybody, for today's video, I'm playing Garen in the top lane, and I'm going to be showing you the most brain-dead strategy, which also happens to be the highest winner with the champion, uh, for Garen top. Now, the strategy is basically just taking Zerker's stride PD and basically being unkillable because of all the, the move speed you're going to be getting from the items and just being able to insta-clear waves and just... Firma splitting side lanes and just always having uh, uh, pressure on the side lanes. Now, Garen is a champion, of course. If you guys don't know, Garen's W scales with last hitting. So, you need to be getting, uh, I believe it's 120 last hits. Uh, before you get the maximum amount of armor and MR, which is a big spike with the champion. Uh, we also take uh, Celerity and Nimbus Cloak. Which Nimbus Cloak proccing with our ghost ends up giving us a ton of boost speed. So we took that big trade, but you know what? We got D Shield. I've got Garen's passive as well, so we are just fine. If he auto attacks us, we can use our W to uh, shield the damage. And if we shield the damage completely, the shield nullifies all the damage. Um, uh, Jace's auto, it actually does not break our personal passive. Something that a lot of people kind of skip over. So, farming against Jace. That's what it is. Oh, nice. Hey, we dodged the... And by we dodged it, I think he missed. <laughs> Do my best to see us under turret. But, yeah, that's what it is. Your own CSM comes super easy once you get uh, Stride and, uh, honestly, probably just Zerkers. And the reason why you go Zerkers on, uh, on Garen is for the pure attack speed, because more attack speed equals more spinning, uh, with your, with your E, with your judgment. So, um, this, uh, build combines good amount of move speed, attack speed, and damage, so you can walk up and basically one-shot somebody with your... Like, I mean, if they fall below 50%, your ult past the level 11 basically one-shots them. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty nice. You see, like, Jace hasn't really even touched my HP bar. And I don't really have to go crazy into him. Because, again, I'm scaling with that 120 CS. And I have, uh, I've got a pretty good scaling team. We got a Lulu... We got a Janna with a, with a Kindred, like infinite scaling. We got uh, a Rillian Soul infinite scaling. So just surviving against Jace early is all we need. Now, also, another thing. Our jungler isn't playing topside right now. If our jungler was playing topside, then uh, we would be going a little bit more aggressive and maybe trying to set up something, but... Demacia marches as one. Is. So, even if you don't know where the enemy jungler is, you always know where your jungler is at. So, you can keep track of your jungler to decide, hey, do, can I pressure right now or not? I'll W that uh, Q from him. Okay, hey, we actually are above CS of a Jace. Um, let me go see if I can stop this back. Fear not. I'm coming. If I stop his back, it's kind of huge. Looks like he backed all the way up. But yeah, he is, uh, he has no mana. He has no mana, so you can't really pressure me. And he went back and got it here. I was about to say. He needs something. He is struggling. So right here, the wave is already pushing back to me. Some people might not recognize this, and he might not know to insta-shove. Oh. Wow, right, Kindred is topside. I've got my, my little passive going. There you go. Easy as that. Get a run, Jace. Like, Jace Flash, she's got Phaeacia, she's got the Nimbus Cloak too, but, uh, yeah. Garen's, uh, Garen's got that all in. 
He got the uh, the ghost for all wins, but also it's like super good team fighting and super good um, even just getting away if you're splitting like hard on sideline and they send the freaking squad at you. Uh, ghost is literally broken. It lasts 15 seconds. Which, I mean, back in my day, that, that thing lasted 8 seconds and I also had a ramp up time. <laughs> so, they have uh, changed Ghost quite a bit um, over the years, making uh, a lot better. But yeah, we're just going to do Stride Breaker. Um, let's see. It's better to go double Longsword rather than Longsword and Dagger. Even though the dagger gives like attack speed, just more spins. Um, I've been told, and correct me if I'm wrong, comments down below by the way. But I've been told at this breakpoint of the of the attack speed uh, threshold, which there are like certain breakpoints for attack speed for more spins, um, you get more damage from uh, going long sword. Probably could have used my W a little bit earlier. I didn't rank to his uh, his EQ. So when I want to be trading with uh, Jace is when my W's up. If my W's not up, I'm kind of sitting back here. You see, I'm just regening. I haven't missed any minions. Oh, I also don't have my Ghost or Flash. When my Ghost is back up, we can maybe look for something. Looks like he warded here. I can tell Kindred that next time she comes topside. You see how I got the entire wave shoved and I got a little trade with him? A little dodge on his EQ. He's almost doomed, by the way. I guess he does have three biscuits. Keep in yourself. Yeah, he is, uh, he's doomed. He abused the bush. Get my, get my healing. He's actually going for a plan or not. Either he's going for a plan or he's helping his jungler do the uh, grubs. It looks like he's just getting a plan. Usually when your your laner just randomly leaves lane, you know they're going for that plan. So. But yeah, th this is your laning phase. You, you don't really have to force anything against a, a bully like Jason. Jace is a bully matchup. This guy picked Jace to uh, direct shop, and yeah, he's kind of just, um, he's against the Garen, so it's not much he could do, right? Yo, let's see what's going on in these grubs. Man, I think there's a pink ward just randomly in the river. Okay. Oh no. Oh, he flashed. Well, that is our ghost down. Oh, he wants the mark. I'm gonna take my reset. I'm staying on 1100. Uh oh. I blocked the EQ with my shield, and I stepped in front, so Kindred's back been. wasn't stopped. Unfortunately, you know, I had to make the heroic sacrifice there and stop my back. But, you know, that's what it is. Oh. Oh, damage. Or pain. Yeah, that one. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Before I meet my tragic demise, we're just gonna have to give a plate. Fear not. All right, so here we are. Let's go. Um, you know, let's go phase so we get that little bit of extra move speed into the long sword. Um, if you go phase rush, Garen, which phase rush Garen is absolutely very useful and can make use of stride breaker super well. If you go phase rush on Garen, uh, you would go the team at first. That way you can activate the team at for the extra, uh, the extra move speed from the phase rush because your Q, your E, and uh, phase rush all together just give you the uh, the instant prompt for the move speed and slow resist. 
protect our um, looks like it could be JSTP. Alright, so JSTP'd. It looks like my team's kind of winning that anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and just push this out. I love when my teammates just ping me to push turret when I'm like actively trying my hardest to <laughs> push. I just gotta wait for the wave to come up, man. So yeah, this this is the Garen experience right here. Boom. This and just walking up and spinning on one. You see, or like a one spin in Skur's whole wave. So, you know, for those of you guys who are bad at CSing, well, this chant might be for you. <laughs> you just walk up, you spin on the wave, whole wave deleted. Honestly, against the Eclipse Jace, we could potentially just proxy. I just don't want to randomly die to Kane. Like, he, he moves across the map so quickly, so even if we see him bot, he could be topside in seconds. All right, if we go proxy wave, I just don't want to get him caught. Against um, less mobile junglers, it is a very good strategy, though. Like, if you're against something that just can't stop you from, from proxying, absolutely just go proxy. Get your free CS, your free... We just Maybe pull a little of extra pressure so they try to chase you, but then... If I, was, if I went phase rush, maybe I can still proxy here. So, you can also use your team map while spinning. Rampage. Which is uh, pretty helpful. Maybe I do go proxy in. Or maybe I'll just grab this point. If I was going to proxy, I would have needed to be there a little bit sooner. Stride breaker. Stride breaker is a big, like, big time break point for all winning. At the stride breaker, and stride breaker not only slows your opponent by thirty five percent, but you also gain thirty five percent bonus move speed per champion. So in team fights, that could be crazy move speed. You'll be moving like a singe. But. Even in the 1v1, super useful. Or just sticking on to and one-shotting Jade switch. We're almost at the breakpoint with our uh, with our W. So we're at 118 CS. Let's see, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it looks like it's 150. 23.6 magic resist earned. So when you get this fully completed, uh, you get a bonus 10% armor and magic resist. Onward. So that's what you're really... Looks like 100. Might have been, uh, might have been 120. Yes. All right, I'm gonna walk up here and help my Kinder to get this mark. Maybe the Jace walks in. You know what? These minions are perfectly clumped up with an instant proxy. And since my team is pressuring top jungle, I can absolutely go for this, and Jace can't do anything about it. And then, even though Jace is such a bully and chess prevent me from getting get free minions. So when you want a proxy, always make sure to uh, pay attention to the map. It's my Debbie to get rid of that. Got my Rowan soul a little bit close. So like, King's just going bot side. He doesn't even care about me proxying. In between waves, I can look for well, right here. Potentially save this guy. Damn. You know what? I got a kill. And you guess what? Because we proxied, we don't even lose any mini wave tops since this is the mini wave that Jace has to push in. So Jace just can't do anything about us just proxying and just walking up and, and getting a free room. He proc this phase rush, so the slow from the stride breaker wasn't as impactful, but very good. 
Guy might be looking to burn. Oh, I didn't see his TPing. Otherwise, that could have stopped him. <coughs> Alright, let me push this in. Yeah. He's just O2, he's just getting crushed. I'll take his turret. My uh, full support team is uh, kind of popping off. So next time you go as Fam Dancer, again for that attack speed, uh, going to your spin, but eh, more or less it's all about the, the move speed that you get from the autumn. Um, gives a little bit of attack damage too. And uh, also your spin can crit. Your spin critting just makes it do bonus damage and is real nice. So let me just uh, walk out of here. Let's build in towards our Phantom Dancer. So build this and this. So Fam Dancer got a little bit of a buff a while ago because the build path for Fam Dancer was just massively increased. This item at the beginning of the season did not build that as eel. But now they built as yellow. I mean, this item is it's so good for doing the attack speed, the crit chance going to your spin, dealing extra damage, and then the move speed. Just you're gonna be able to stick to everybody. So, other good items to go on Garen for, for later. You probably see the thumbnail, and you're probably seeing uh, drive breaker and PD, but you can also go be forced to. Especially if you go conquer like I did, you don't necessarily have to go stride first. Because I was against a Jace, I wanted the stride for extra like stake potential, right? But if I was against like a melee matchup, you absolutely can just go Trinity Force going Conqueror. Um if you go phase rush, you're always wanting to take uh You're always wanting to take uh stride. Just so you can rock the, the face and stuff. Very important. So yeah, we're just chill, splitting, we're gonna put a little pressure down, and we're just gonna hit turrets. This is all you do, it's just so brain, you just do this all game, and they try to chase after you, like if uh, you're like the main threat of the team, looks like my team's doing pretty well here, but if you're the main threat of the team, you just literally can just walk away. Okay, it looks like we're putting that to the test here. So I'm running away from a blue cane. Looks like I'm not walking away from that one. I didn't even bother using my ghost. Uh, they literally five-man me. <laughs> you know what? They, they sent the squad. You know, they were putting my worst to the test. And, uh, you know, I've been gone. That's what it is. You know, maybe if they sent, like, two or three, we could just, like, ghost and gather. I didn't even bother ghosting. I'm just, I'm just dead there. They had two people coming from from Fountain. They had two people behind me. They had the the cane just run through the wall there. Yeah, that, that's rough. But more so than a lot of champions, you can get in most situations, so you can aggressively split. I'm surprised we didn't do uh, the direct while uh, they're five top. Fine. I'm not gonna like this team is pretty damn good. Push out. Keep faith in yourself. Um, Jace is still top. Now, since we saved our ghost on us on them literally five man converging on me, I get a ghost on, on this. I don't need ult. Could potentially get on them. I have flash soon. Oh man, we just killed them all. <laughs> we just ghosted, flash. We're just a monster in the team fight. Good old cleanup crew. And of course, you know, we're going back to come back to just splitting. So if you're pure, like if your win con is pure on splitting too, going Trinity Force and Hole Breaker even, 
is pretty insane on Garen because you build a lot of attack speed to the on hit from Holebreaker doing bonus damage to turrets and champs. Actually, insanely strong. Just you just beating people there. Oh, this guy has Serpent's Fang. I guess for the jam. Well, that makes sense. Alright, let's uh let's take it back here. So Damnus play is also a thing, but I mean I kinda just want to breach turret. So I get a little bit extra move speed from uh age here. So this uh does not share the same unique. So, Stridebreaker has Temper, which is dealing physical damage against your move speed, whereas Phage attacking current slain. move speed. So, that actually stacks with you. We can do Baron. The team just kind of popped off there. Um, team's looking at. It. I think we just do Baron. I'm waiting for my team to realize hey, we should probably do Baron. And then I'm gonna. Going up with them. No, I could just um, go for a oh. Let's do this thing. He's beaming. I'll tank it. Like, I'm super tanky while building full damage. His Garen's just great like that. So you need third you know what? I could just sell my uh my Dorn Shield and get my Trinity Force. So for maximum turret destruction, we would go Holebreaker next. If we want to go more team fighting, uh we can go to items like Steric's Gauge for the extra tenacity. They don't really have too much like CC, it's just more for the anti bird From the the big shield you get, because we're we got a lot of HP in our items, right? From these two items, we got 800. Your team has destroyed. Shut down. We're splitting menace. Don't get baited into just randomly grouping with your team. Always look to split first. Like, unless you're just giga far behind and you can't even, like, do anything to your opponent. Like, look to split, just do this to turrets, make them come to you, and then you just sprint away and they, uh, come after you. So, put as much pressure now. My team's kind of dead here. So, that's fine. The good old Lulu Janna bot lane. I've actually never seen that before. <laughs> my, uh, my team's inventing new strategies. Uh, this week. I guess it's just, I guess we're just like funneling this Kendra at home. The attack speed that Lulu gives with her W does not affect Garen's spin. Because Garen only gains attack like um, from items and levels. It doesn't affect from any buffs or even runes. Attack speed doesn't matter. <coughs> Just items and levels affect uh, Garen's number of spins. So we could look for a flank on a fight leg. So, yeah, that's a nuke right there. Like Twitch is top right now. We saw it with the nuke from Ruin Soul. Oh and yeah, we just split the win, baby. Using my W for the, uh, the training force proc. Which we're trying to end ASAP. There you go. The brain dead Garen Shred. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day.